Hey everybody, this is my 125 gallon New World tank and today we're going to do a really big water change on it and the reason we're going to do such a big water change is I want to find out how much my water parameters shift during a large water change like this. Uh, about a week to maybe 10 days ago I put uh, a little pouch of some substrate in the tank to find out how much of an impact it would have on the tank. In fact, what I put in the tank was something very similar to this. It's about, I don't know, maybe three quarters of a cup, half a cup of this. I don't know if you can read that or not, but that is poultry grit. And while it says oyster shell on there, bigger than life, it is a mix of both oyster shell and crushed coral. So the coral dissolves much more rapidly than the oyster shell, but both of them are putting calcium carbonate in the water. And I wanted to find out how much of an impact a small amount of that was. I put a small bag right underneath of the power head. In fact, let's go actually have a look at that. So you can see it's not a lot for a 125 gallon tank and yet in the 10 days I've put it there or week thereabouts, I'm not exactly sure when I did it, it's been a little while now, um, not a lot's happened but the, what has happened has kind of surprised me. My uh, general hardness has gone up one degree. I retested my original water sample. I took a sample when I first started this and I hung on to that sample. So I retested that again today. Uh, all the tests came out the same as they did the first time so there was no mistake and I very, very clearly got one degree increase in general hardness. Now my carbonate hardness did not move at all. It's still not registering. There's still not any detectable amount of carbonate hardness in the tank. And my pH is still 6.4. The pH did not shift at all. So the only thing that really changed was the TDS, that went up by about 15 or 18 points. Um, that could be nitrate, that could be tannin, there could be all sorts of things that cause a little bit of a TDS shift. The TDS could have gone down uh, over that time depending on what uh, the plants are absorbing out of the tank. So the TDS isn't really a good thing to go by. But the general hardness went up one degree, carbonate hardness stayed the same, nothing and the pH stayed the same, 6.4. So I'm gonna do a really big water change. We're gonna take that little pouch out of the tank. I'm gonna put it in the filter tray. In fact, I'm gonna put more of that poultry grit in there. I'm gonna fill the pouch up and we're gonna put that in the filter tray uh, and just let that be part of the filter. And it should continually add um, calcium and carbonates to my tank to help stabilize the pH and to help the fish with the uh, electrolytes and the plants of course need the calcium and the magnesium in the water and so it's just going to benefit my tanks to have a little bit of this mineralization without having a huge impact on the pH and I think the reason I'm not getting uh, any real development of the carbonate hardness is because the tannin and the acids that are in the tank uh, tannin is just a shortened version of saying tannic acid um, but the acids that are in the tank are interacting with the carbonates and basically when you've got a carbonate and you've got an acid and they come together they cancel each other out so the little bit of carbonate that's being put in the tank is just sort of being canceled out as it's being produced and this is allowing the general hardness to come up while the carbonate hardness is not really changing but at the same time it's helping to keep my pH from falling too rapidly so I think putting a little more of it than I have been that little pouch we just saw uh, it was a very small test sample. Again, I'm going to fill that whole pouch up and just put it in one of the trays in my canister filter and we'll see what kind of a difference that makes. So I'm going to get on with the water change. I'll just let the camera roll and we'll speed through all that process. We'll do a before and after at the end and then we'll check on some of the parameters and see how much this water change actually affects that. Uh, whether I add the carbonate hardness, change the pH, et cetera, et cetera. The pH is the thing I'm really looking for, and we're going to talk more about that in some upcoming videos. So sit tight, let me get on with this, and I'll see you for the other side.
All right, not a lot to talk about as far as doing the filter change itself, but I did want to show you the size of the bag of poultry grit I'm putting in there. So you can see it's not a whole lot, maybe two cups. Doesn't even fill up that top tray. So there you go, just wanted to show you that. Back on with the water change. There's the before, and there's your after. So not surprisingly, we didn't experience a whole lot of changes when we did the big water change. The water hardness changed by one degree. It went from five degrees general hardness down to four degrees general hardness, which is where we started. Uh, a week or so ago, whenever we began the experiment, I tested it against my uh, sample water that I took when we started the process, and it was indeed four parts per million, and so that's about it. The pH did not change. I wasn't really expecting it to. Uh, carbonate hardness was still pretty much at nothing, and the TDS came down 100 points more or less. We went from around 360 down to about 260. I didn't bother to check the nitrate. I don't really think that's relevant uh, in this particular experiment. And I don't know if you caught it there in the fast motion while I was doing the water change, but when I pulled the bag of uh, poultry grit out from the corner there, it released a ton of white milky looking water that swirled around the tank for a while. So I didn't know if that was gonna have a big impact on uh, putting a lot of carbonates into the tank all of a sudden or what. But when I let the tank sit for about half an hour after the water change, checked and again, no carbonate hardness whatsoever. And that's of course when we had the four degrees hardness. So we did come down one degree hardness and that's it. That was all that happened from that water change. So all in all, I think that little amount that we put in the filter there is going to work just fine. Over time, it'll raise the general hardness in the tank by a degree or two. It's not really going to be that big of a deal. And as it releases carbonates into the tank, that will simply keep the pH from falling too much. But at the same time, it's not going to be releasing carbonates at a rate that cause the pH to really climb. And so I will continue to do these little tests. I took a sample of today's water, um, let it sit in the other room in a bag. And when we do another water change in a week or two, I'll check again and we'll see how much change we've gone through in the week. And we'll see how much change we go through during the course of the water change and so on and so forth. And once I've done that a few times and I get a really good feel for what's going on when I do these water changes based on that amount of poultry grit, I'll be confident enough that I can stop doing all the testing and checking all the time and I'll have a pretty good idea of what's going on in the tank. 
So hopefully that is a good way for me to add a little bit of mineralization, put a little bit of calcium, a little bit of magnesium in the tank. We are going to talk about some other sources and some experiments I've been doing uh, coming up here real soon. So make sure you subscribe. You won't miss any of that or anything else I've got coming up. So thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget this one here is my 125 gallon new world tank. Thanks again. I'll see you real soon in the next one.